it still doesn't feel real. A year has done little to lessen this family's pain. And it's just shattered this whole family. Pain caused in a matter of moments last February while Christy Ward Stamp was sitting in an SUV with her 32 year old son waiting for Richard Ward's brother to get out of school in Puebla West. Richard got restless and got out to take a walk. He accidentally opened the door to a different but very similar looking white SUV. Richard apologized. He was startled and immediately got out. Deputies responded. Why are you touching my arm, bro? Like, uh, Why are you acting like this? I'm, uh, I'm a little nervous because I don't like cops. Why? Uh, they, I have a anxiety. They've, they've done things to me. What have they done to you? Uh, I mean, stop resisting when you're not resisting. When Richard put that anti-anxiety pill in his mouth, Deputy McWhorter went crazy. What'd you just stick in your mouth? Pill. What's a pill? Let me go. Get out. Get out. 20 seconds later, Richard was dead. It's been really, really, really horrible. I just, I don't even know who I am anymore. You know, but I'm working on it. That's about it. His mother and brother were in Denver on Tuesday as their attorneys filed suit against the Pueblo County Sheriff. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about how I'll never get to have another phone conversation with my brother. They're upset. It's infuriating. Upset at what this video shows, video that doesn't match what the sheriff reports on the scene that day. Uh, until our deputies arrived, uh, at that point, the, the person jumped out of the vehicle and uh, had immediate contact with our deputies. And to hear my, my younger brother, you know, say that other people's parents are reading that story and that other kids in his class are referring to my brother as this intruder and an attacker and and to have him not know how to even deal with that. I want justice and accountability for the people involved. In Denver, Steve Steger, 9 News. The DA in Pueblo County cleared both deputies on the scene of the shooting, saying they had reasonable grounds to believe they were in danger, claiming Ward was reaching for McWhorter's gun. The Pueblo County Sheriff's Office could not comment on that lawsuit today because they told us they had not seen it.